uh, thanks to Barbara Johnson here, a resident of Rancho Villas Condominiums. Barbara, thank you. Thank and you. And thanks for taking the time. I know you were visiting with a Otai Water District official as we, uh, as we pulled up here. And before we begin to talk to it, uh, Barbara, I want to show you the water tank. It's right up there. Everybody here, uh, what, uh, Barbara, you told me about 345 units. No, 305. 305 units. 305. And, you know, everybody's certainly aware of uh, the surrounding area, including the water tank. And this water tank, apparently, uh, this was not a leak issue as much as an overflow issue with a valve. Uh, the good news is, despite the cascading water and evacuations, uh, the evacuation order has been lifted because the, uh, the, the issue has been solved and, and relatively quickly. Good morning. Good morning. And thanks for visiting with us. Thank I know you. these are difficult circumstances, but you kind of escaped some of the worst of it. I did. Uh, and, and, uh, give us an idea. You were asleep at six o'clock. I was. I was asleep at six o'clock. And, um, the sheriff, I believe it was the sheriff, um, came pounding, pounding, pounding on the door. <laughs> So I opened it, and there I could see the river flowing outside my front door. And um, I said, well, what's going on? He said, well, the water tower, the valve, or something's going on at the water tower. They're trying to get Otai out here to check it out. And so I needed to go get my medicines and everything And um, at that time so I could get the car out of the garage and just go. And then in... Ten minutes later, he they came back and said, well, now you have the option. You can go if you need to, but they got it shut off, and so it's going to stop. When he told you that, well, had the water f f uh, physically stopped flowing? or it no. was No, it, it was, was still, still going, flowing. but they were meaning the overflow, whatever it was, but they were still up there with apparently what, whatever this faulty valve Yes. Is that what? And then, well, and now you visited with an Otai. I, that was at, he's at the end, but the sheriff yeah. and the fire department said they were trying to get Otai to see what's going on. So right at six o'clock, they didn't really know what the problem was. So then I they got and then at ten after six, they said they got a hold of somebody, and it looks like it's going to be a valve, and they'll be able to you know, get it shut off. And, so and you don't we, have to go if you don't want to. Thank you. And, and if we may, Scott, I mean, there, there really isn't a lot of debris. You can see, uh, I mean, at least not now. Not right here. Not over right there, here, but we're going to head over there. Yeah. Do you know about how many of your neighbors were more severely damaged than you? I know that all of, probably, except for the top floor people, like there's four downstairs and then there's one that's upstairs only uh -huh. Uh -huh. so all of the downstairs they got um one of the ladies over here got about eight inches of water coming through her back and out their front door so there's so going to be some significant gonna, damage to a few correct. of the units yeah right and so i don't know about the next block because it sounded like the water came down the hill and then turned towards ours. And then this is where it got out. Now, I noticed you were visiting with an Otai Water District person. I was. At the time. Now, yeah. what is the and orange? This is what he gave me to get to email. And they'll start, you know, the claim and everything. Okay. And start the claim process. And was he able to tell you anything more specific about what was going on with this valve and, and the pumps and shutting them ask, off? I didn't ask him. Yeah, that's I, the least of your worries. I wouldn't really understand it, yeah. probably, except yeah. that it's a valve and they got it okay. turned off. So right. I don't know what the fix is going to be. But, but your your situation is relatively compared to some of the others. It's not too bad. You got right. about how much water? I didn't get any water inside except a little bit of seepage under, so I could see mud. Yeah. And um, then it got it would have got a little bit into my carpet area, but I I can tell it's not very much. But I can see maybe this much of my edge of my carpet is wet. Has there ever been so, an issue like this before with the tank? No. Okay. All no. right. Well, listen, Barbara, thank you. Thank you. And I, I'm very appreciative because I know you were busy with him. And you said, <laughs> yeah, I'll come on over and tell you yeah. what happened. No problem. All right. No problem. Barbara, but thank you. You'll be able to see a lot in, in between our two rows because this is my part of the unit and they have that. You'll be able to see the mudslide. Okay. 
All right. How much and is and uh, speaking of, thank you, Barbara. I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Uh, speaking of, one of the reasons for the evacuation, in addition to the cascading water, was they were concerned that if they didn't get this fixed uh, as quickly as they did, may, that, that obviously the ground now saturated in that area, there'd be a, a mudslide, and now people don't have a chance to get out. Barbara was sharing that with me uh, as well. I think we can take our mask off here for the moment. So uh, anyway... Uh, the uh, the condominiums or Rancho Villas, if uh, if you're familiar, and we're going to send it back to you guys uh, here momentarily. Um, uh, Rancho San Diego is where we are, and Cal Fire headquarters. You know, we spend a lot of time there. It's just around the corner, uh, Cuyamaca College. So that's the area we are in. And as it turns out, I guess it could have been a far worse if there had been, you know, if they hadn't gotten this faulty valve shut off. This is not a leak in the tank, we're told. It was more of a water pump failure, and they got the valve shut off, and uh, uh, the evacuation order, uh, she said it was an option, but I think it's been lifted by now, and we'll get over there and, and see what kind of damage there is uh, to the, uh, in terms of some of the condominiums as opposed to what Barbara was talking about. We are live in Rancho San Diego. Considering, I guess, uh, you know, it's, it could have been a whole lot worse if that if the ground had had given way with this, you know, potential mudslide.